He was one of the world's most wanted fugitives, 84-year-old Felicien Kabuga, the man accused of financing the militias that massacred 800,000 people in 100 days during the Rwandan genocide. Until his arrest in France, he had been on the run from international justice for 25 years. Kabuga had been indicted by the United Nations International Criminal Tribunal in 1997 on seven counts of genocide. But the former businessman managed to avoid arrest, using his powerful international connections to evade capture. Kabuga always had very close relations with, with Mitterrand's government in France. He's very well connected uh, in elite circles uh, in Paris. And I think his arrest today will also raise questions about how much safe harbour um, he has received from the French government uh, in recent years. Kabuga had been living under a false identity in this apartment in Asnières-sur-Seine, near the centre of Paris. He had previously lived in Germany, Belgium, the Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as Kenya and Switzerland. This morning we were surprised because when we went downstairs, like all the neighbours, we were trying to get out and then we saw a whole army of police preparing this operation. His son-in-law had been arrested in Germany in 2007 for war crimes committed during the 1994 genocide. The U.S. had offered a $5 million reward for information leading to his arrest. Kabuga had also been the chairman of the infamous RTLM radio station, which he used to broadcast propaganda, inciting ethnic Hutus to murder Tutsis. His arrest was carried out by French police, together with cooperation from Belgian and British authorities. Now he will face the International Criminal Court in The Hague, for his part in one of the worst atrocities in recent history. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera. Louis Mudge is the Central Africa Director for Human Rights Watch. He says this is an important moment for victims of genocide. This is a huge day for Rwanda um, and, and this is a huge day for international justice and it's very difficult to, to uh, overstate um, how significant this arrest is. Felicien Kabuga is one of the big fish uh, he is one of the last remaining individuals out there who really had, who is alleged to have had, excuse me, um, a, a real planning uh, purpose uh, with regards to the Rwandan genocide. Um, and for many years, folks like myself thought maybe he was going to get away with it. And maybe we would never find him. There was rumors of him being in Europe and East Africa uh, for years. Um, so to wake up to this news um, is incredibly significant. And I can't imagine how... Um, relieved um, and and I don't want to use the word happy but uh, how resolved people in Rwanda survivors and victims uh, family members of victims of the genocide must be I think there will be questions asked and I think they absolutely should be um, the fact is is that Felicien Kabuga is not someone who was unknown uh, there was a massive reward out for him for many many years um, he has been at the top of the arrest uh, the, the, the sort of most wanted lists of not only East African countries, uh, but also European ones. So I think there should be an absolute investigation as to how he was able to uh, get this other identity and how he was able to evade justice for 26 long years.